it, guys. Come ready for your bath. Come on, let's wash your hair. Carrie Dan lives out where clouds leave only shadows on the earth. Her people remember bone gray better than rainbows. But for as long as anyone can recall, they have clung to these foothills, close to the creeks that bring them life. Feels good? Yeah. The Dans are Indians, Western Shoshones. Their ranch beneath the Cortez Mountains, 50 miles southwest of Elko, Nevada, is on the original 160 acres their father homesteaded when the Shoshones were told to mark off an area for their lives. Our people have always looked at this land as a mother to them. When a child is born, it feeds on its human mother, and after that, when we get weaned, we feed on our earthly mother. She is a harsh mother. Patty! Rangeland here is so marginal, ranchers joke that cows have to graze at 40 miles an hour just to get enough to eat. Uh-oh. To survive, the Dans must herd their cattle far from home. Easy. Up and down the valley. Bring them in. They and other Shoshones have used this common pasture for tens of thousands of years. Oh. But one afternoon, 11 years ago, a federal ranger stopped Carrie's sister, Mary, and asked to see her grazing permit. They came over and told us we were trespassing. I told them I wasn't. And they told me, yes, I was, and I says, no, I wasn't, because I was stealing my territorial grounds, I told them. The Dans were convicted of trespassing. A federal appeals court overturned the decision. Today, the government takes its case clear to the Supreme Court. Only 5,000 acres are involved in this suit, hardly worth the 11-year court fight. But if the sisters win, it could establish a legal precedent for 16 million acres of western Shoshone land, nearly one-fifth of the state of Nevada. An area larger than Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and New Jersey combined. A judgment that could lead to the largest recognition of Indian land rights in history. Come on, shall we? What makes this Indian lawsuit different is that there is no piece of paper which proves that battles were fought or property was appropriated. It'll be over pretty quick, boy. The Shoshones were never conquered. To almost everyone's astonishment, the Federal Appeals Court ruled that the United States may not have clear title to much of its holdings in Nevada. The government tried to end the case five years ago by authorizing $26 million to pay for the land. But the Indians refused the money. It would have acknowledged government ownership. Washington contends that the payment ended the matter. But the Indians say this offer that can't be refused is simply Godfather real estate. 26 million, it will be gone in short time. That can feed us forever. And that can give us things we want forever. It'll disappear. The earth will be here. It's here for us. We'll be here for our grandchildren. Here he comes! Here he comes! The Supreme Court has been asked only to decide the narrow issue of payment. If the Dans do win, other Shoshone claims will still have to be judged on their own merits. But the tribe could garner $30 million a year in grazing fees from non-Indians. Carrie Dan's grandmother slept all her nights on the ground. Her great-great-grandchildren face a far different world. We need to have a little more haircut, don't we? Yeah. But laundry is still done at the foot of Hand Me Down Creek. And troubles seem to soak away under the sun. Stories such as this always tend to stress the Indian's long tale of endless suffering. If you only hear about folks when they suffer, defeat looks natural on them. Defeat is not natural here. You look like he's going to be a punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Crescent Valley, Nevada. <laughs>